Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Neil Yen. I work for the Nilaro. So in this session, I will to uh, introduce the uh, our work for porting the Android Automotive on Zen uh, virtual, uh, virtual machine. So um, first, I give you some of the background in, uh, introduction. So uh, in Nilaro, we have the automotive project from last year until this year. So the goal uh, for this project, we want to locate the gaps when we run the Android uh, automotive OS on Zen uh, virtual machine. So here we can see that there we need to set up the, for the both the host and the guest, the environment. For the host that you can see that because there have many the component for Zen hypervisor and there have Zen toolkit. And we also need to integrate the QMU and we also need to enable the Linux curve, this kind of thing. There also have many the dependency. So this is why in Minaro we need to build the Yokoto based the distro. So we uh, now often use the TRS, is a trusted uh, stack, uh, reference stack. So it can allow us to do the debugging in a single place for the host, uh, this, the, uh, host site, host site. For the guest here, we use the Android, the OSB, the mass branch. But here I have one thing that what the target we want to use. Because that, as we know, that the Android Cuttlefish, they have the built target here is the AOSP uh, CF ARM64 um, uh, Auto. So this want to build Android image, run the automotive the software on the Cuttlefish virtual machine. But Cuttlefish is the KVM based the virtual machine. So based on that the idea is that when we want to run the Android auto Motive OS on the Zen, we want to try to reuse the component uh, as possible with the uh, existing work. So this is why we selected this target. So just now, just want to mention that uh, this target, the name has been renamed to the new rename recently. So we're not in the bottom of the page. Okay, so. Based on that, uh, now the work, we, we are not the first one to work on this field. So EPAM, uh, the colleagues, they work on this uh, uh, field for a very long time. So we just, uh, uh, based on their work, to uh, enable uh, this environment. So we test on three different uh, the hardware platforms. The first one is the Ava platform. So Ava platform is very powerful. So it have, is used Ampere SOC, so they have uh, 32 um, Nova verse uh, M1 CPUs. So this is why that uh, is the main platform we are working on. There have another task, uh, platform is Tiny Chips Dolphin 5. So this platform uh, is very power, uh, interesting that it have a GPU partition. So this is why we select, but I want to clarify, we don't enable the hardware GPU at the current stage, we just use the software rendering. But in the potential of the platform, we can to, uh, do the uh, GPU, the uh, related enabling. The third one is the Rocket Pi. Because that is open source, the community, the platform. So all the soft uh, component has been open sourced. So this uh, is completed by my chronic dream. Okay. Okay, so this just give quick sense that uh, how what the system put up. You can see that at the uh, background there have the uh, uh, TRS or the uh, host system run in the Zen Dome Zero. So in the front end you can see that sorry in the fr um, front uh, end you can see that they have the uh, is a window. So this window that run for the Android Automotive OS in the Dome uh, Dome U. So Current status we can see now, we try to do some upstreaming work in this part. So for the uh, Android U-Boot, they have maintained the repository. So we have upstream the patches for the U-Boot. The patches have been merged. The kernel patch is just simple, just one patch. So it patch uh, to enable the Zen fundamental the features, for example, to enable the Zen for the uh, message uh, uh, communicate or the, for the event handling. But this patch has not been merged because that is then, uh, sorry, the Android common color 
don't want to maintain the Zen uh, the, the feature. So now the plan is don't upstream this patch, but we have agreement that we want we can upstream the changes for the Android cuttlefish. So we can allow the cuttlefish to support the Zen virtual machine as possible. So we can see that for the display, the model set at the DRM, the patch has been merged. Uh, there have another thing that we tried to use the virtual I/O virtual device as possible, but there have one exception is that the Zen uh, virtual block device. So there have one patch need to enable the support of the Zen virtual block device in the cuttlefish to boot up the uh, the uh, virtual block device. There also have one regression we found that now under the cuttlefish they don't support the no not don't support. They don't use the HVC zero. This virtual console to uh, as the interactive the console. So we need to apply one patch to uh, enable the virtual console to be used in that. Okay, this is just for the guest side. So you can see that because uh, the Android Cuttlefish the support the virtualization, they have Google have did the. Um, much job, uh, work at here, so we just to try to use. So we can see that for the Android this part, we don't need to apply uh, many patches. We just to apply less than ten patches can enable the Android automotive on Zen. But on the whole side, we can see we need to maintain uh, several parts. The first part is that we need to maintain Zen and QMU repository. So basically, that there have a significant work done by EPAM. So we need to support the virtual IOP side, the virtual bus. So this is why we need to maintain these two specific the repository to enable the virtual IO, the virtual PCI bus uh, on the Zen for the Zen virtual machine. The there have some no issue. As we know that cutfish that they when they enable some of the virtual device, for example, Wi-Fi or the secure environment, they don't use the virtual IO this framework. They just to use the uh, Hypervisor virtual console to do the communication with the host side. So on the host side, they have some program to do the communication. This part we don't port um, from um, KVM or Cutfish to the Zen. So in this case, that you can see that no issue. This no issue. We just to dis disable some of the service, for example, the, for security the, uh, service. So this is why we disable the. Um, uh, file system encryption and OEM lock, this kind of service. So they, it does not there have some link to give the demo for, for, for the steps for enable the Zen, run the Android automotive auto, auto OS on Zen virtual machine. Okay, so uh, here some, uh, have some like the next step or what we want to do. So first thing that uh, actually now we have some pain, pinpoint. The first thing that we need to maintain this offline patch is by ourselves. So you can see that uh, almost every one or two months when we rebase to the latest AOSB code base, then we can see there have some breaking issue. We need to apply the reply new patch. So this is why I want, want to upstream these patches as possible. There have one another thing we can see that uh, when we want to reuse the cuttlefish AOSB image uh, run on the Zen uh, virtual machine. Cuttlefish, when Cuttlefish launch, it will to dynamically to generate the Android image. And it also need to dynamically to append, for example, the boot config file into RAM disk image. So now we do, do this kind of thing, use some like two steps. So first one, we run the uh, um, Cuttlefish the cuttlefish run the cross RAM to generate this under the image. Then we copy this image to Zen host uh, machine, then to run uh, launch the RAM, run Zen virtual machine. So this is something that is the manual thing we need to do. So uh, it's still a bit like the no efficiency for us. So next, uh, there have another thing what we can do is that now we uh, there have some de uh, development. Uh, based on the vhost based uh, backend. So we wanted to develop some uh, backend uh, program is standalone background uh, program. So this background program that uh, not in the QMU, it's just the uh, standalone. 
So you can see that now we have developed develop some virtual device for ING, XQRC, GPIO. We also have some in progress the, uh, the uh, background, the backend, uh, the device. We also there have some uh, colleagues now work on the Vulkan support uh, for Vertio GPU. Uh, this is in progress. Okay, so this just the uh, current status. Okay, so um, uh, do you have any question? So maybe I was in the beginning when you were talking. So could you just clarify what's the benefit of sort of having Inter Automotive and Zen? Is is it just or is it probably not just Rupert con concept? So what's what's the actual end goal here that's being trying we're trying to achieve? Okay, so Masu, do you want to uh, give us some information? For sure. Uh, so the, the the question is, what's the end goal or the benefit of having Android? Um, sort of automotive running on Zen. What's what are we trying to achieve? So we were uh, doing a proof of concept to support automotive um, uh, mixed criticality and virtualization all in one in one cluster. So the idea of working with a Type One hypervisor, we, we know that the Zen is not going to get into a car. You need a real time hypervisor, but it's still a Type One hypervisor. And uh, so that was, was, and that was the first phase of a, pro, a program like that. The second phase was to integrate that with Virt.io daemons uh, that we started taking out of the VMM. So those Virt.io daemons could be basically running on any kind of POSIX environment so that you stop reinventing the wheel every time that you want to swap your hypervisor out and um, basically get Virt.io to be accepted by uh, the community that uh, builds real-time hypervisors so that you can have a direct uh, swap from type one hypervisor that you prototype on and you're the ones that you're paying dearly for per seat. So that, that's the genesis of the project. Oh. All right, thank you, Leo. Okay, thank you.